In this video, we will talk about turbocharging your electrothermal simulations and we will focus on concept of static and dynamic reuse model which will help you to speed up your electrothermal analysis of complex circuits by a great amount. So let's get started. Now first, let's revisit how ADS electrothermal simulator works. As you might understand, it's a closed loop simulation where circuit simulation and thermal simulation interact with each other and the information gets continuously passed between the two domains till we achieve a converged solution. Once the solution is converged, you are able to see the electrical performance and thermal performance of your design. Now, this is absolutely fine if you are analyzing a single operating point, but in cases where you have to sweep various parameters such as input power, bias supply, etc., this could be a really long simulation because you are relying on a full closed loop simulation which has to converge on and you're solving the equations every time even if the layout is not changing or rest of the parameters are not changing only the stimuli is changing such as input power or bias supply now how can we resolve this issue and speed up our simulation now we come to a concept called static or dynamic reuse model now to extract a reuse model from electrothermal controller you can go ahead and enable reuse and then select the model order which you would like to extract with model order 0 we extract a static model for which the file has extension of .rm and these kind of models can be used with dc and harmonic balance any non-zero model order will result in dynamic model which will have extension of .rcm and this kind of model can be used with transient and envelope which are time domain simulators where you are not working on a static mode that means it's not a steady state solvers now while using these models you can achieve significant speed up and also while you are reusing these models your stimuli can change but your layout and boundary conditions should remain unchanged because the thermal model which you are extracting is dependent upon your layout design and the boundary conditions which you have applied so we will talk more about this in the next section of this video now let's take a look at the simple test case which i have created now in this test bench i have an mmic design which is being analyzed and i have few sources connected for RF input as well as bias supply and you can see few of them are grayed out which is belonging to the envelope controller. So right now I'm just going to demonstrate this feature using harmonic balance which is easy to understand but once you understand the concept you can go ahead and apply it for envelope or transient controllers as well. Now when you run a normal electrical loop where you are running electrothermal analysis with the basic setting and you have harmonic balance controller where you are trying to analyze your circuit and in this case you can see I'm sweeping the input power from minus 15 dBm to plus 5 dBm in a step of 1 dBm. Now there are 20 power points to be solved so even if at one power point your electrothermal analysis takes one minute you will end up spending 20 minutes to run this overall analysis and one minute is pretty typical for any decently complex design or in reality it is much more than one minute depending upon how complex is the design on which you are running electrothermal analysis now how can we speed up this and that's the whole agenda of this video so let's go ahead and deactivate the harmonic balance now for reuse model extraction, we simply need a DC controller to be working with electrothermal. Although the end use of this model could be for harmonic balance, envelope or transient, but those simulators are not needed. So once you place DC controller, we can go to electrothermal controller and simply enable reuse. And here now we can make a selection of what is the model order which we need to extract. For DC and harmonic balance, we only need to extract a static. But in case you want to use it for envelope or transient, we can use order number 4 all the way to order number 20, depending upon how complex is your circuit design. 
a good uh, benchmark of selecting the order is between 8 to 12 which usually works for most of the design and my favorite being 9. So with 9 you get a decent accuracy as well as the speed up factor. Now when you are extracting the model simply select select the order and you can build a reusable model and as you can see it only needs a DC controller. Press OK, hit the simulate button and the model extraction will take certain amount of time depending upon the complexity of your circuit design and also what is the order which you are extracting for. Obviously static model extraction is the fastest however as you keep increasing the order the model extraction will take certain amount of time because you have more unknowns to be extracted. Now once you select a particular model and the model extraction is done you will have a .rm and .rcm depending upon what model you have extracted in your data folder. Next time you want to use it, you simply select this option, reuse extracted ETH data. The third option here is for legacy purpose. However, in a newer ADS releases, we discourage using reuse existing temperature option as this is little less accurate compared to what we are using uh, with the option of reuse extracted ETH data. Now once you make the selection click OK and now we can enable the harmonic balance. The DC controller's job is done so if you want you can deactivate or it can remain there. Now see I'm going to run 20 uh, power points with uh, electrothermal analysis but I'm going to reuse the model which I have already extracted. And once we run this analysis, you can notice how quick the simulation runs and you will have a full solution ready only in about five seconds of time. So we ran 20 PowerPoints in only five seconds. Now here I do have plotted certain statistics for you to see and then we can compare. So let's focus on these two graphs here. This simulation is where electrothermal is running in har along with harmonic balance without any kind of reuse and sweeping through 20 power points. And you can see the simulation takes around 356 seconds, which is not bad, is around six minutes or so. However, in more complex circuits like your real circuit design, this could be a lot longer. However, once we extract the model and we reuse it along with harmonic balance, you can see all 20 power points only take about 4 seconds or 5 seconds of time. So this is a significant speed up. Now, how much time do you need for model extraction? Well, here is the summary. In my present case, I had 105 um, you know, thermal sources. So these heat sources needs to be extracted to compute the model. And on my machine, to solve 105 heat sources, I took around 522 seconds. Well, somebody might argue that for model extraction, you took 522 seconds, whereas if I didn't do any model extraction and simply run electrothermal, like a closed loop solution, I only take six minutes, which is true. However, you are forgetting the fact that if you have to change by a supply or any other operating condition, for every run, you are going to take that much of time. Whereas in this case, since the concept of the reuse model revolves around the fact that your stimuli can change, this is a one-time effort. And also not to forget, these model extractions are massively paralyzed and you are only limited by your cores in your CPU. So imagine in this case, if you had a 105 core CPU, you can extract all 105 heat sources at the same time. Now, if you look at statistics, for 105 heat sources, it took around 522, so roughly five seconds per heat source. So even if I had 48 core or 32 core machine, which is very common in com, you know, bigger Linux workstations, I could have extracted in 10 or 20 seconds, which is extremely fast. So here we are limited by the number of cores we have available on CPU and you can still get this kind of speed up. Similarly, if you want to reuse, extract the reuse model for enveloper transient, you use exactly the same thing. We go ahead and deactivate all controllers, only enable DC, 
go to electrothermal and this time you can select the order for example 9 and you can extract a reusable model now once you extract the dynamic model you also extract the rm file which you can then use with harmonic balance or dc so it's two models in one however extracting dynamic model will take little more time because they are a lot more complex as compared to the static model but here as you can see the speed of factor is worth considering and i'm sure if you are running electrothermal simulator you would like to give it a try the static model extraction comes by default with electrothermal controller however if you want to extract dynamic model you may want to contact keysight technical support and obtain a relevant license so that you can extract dynamic models so that's all for this video i hope you like the content presented and it will be useful for your design work if you are involved in performing electrothermal analysis for your designs Thanks a lot for watching and wish you all the best with your design work.